top of the funnel, that's your introductory level. Um, so that's where you give your general presentation about the company, about the products, why your products and services are, are better than anyone else's, and how you can potentially, in general, help that customer. That's the first, the getting to know you, we're so great. It's like a first date. Um, then the second, the second step is the, uh, maybe the, the needs analysis or where you, you learn more about the customer's problem and really get into the customer's issues and the customer's business. Because ultimately in sales, um, no matter what CRM you're using, no matter what process you're finding, sales is about relationships. And if you are not on board with your customer, then you're not really, you're not helping them. And if you can't help them, you can't sell to them. So that's, you know, that second is really for the deep dive into learning about the customer. Um, and then from there is the, it's kind of the RFP, the solution. Now that you know us, now that we know you, let's see how we can merge those two and really how our services and products are going to solve your problem customer. So that's your third big presentation. And then from there, you get your references and, and your qualifications and, and all that other stuff. Got it. And a lot of, uh, you know, companies are really just thinking about that traditional sales enablement sales funnel mm -hmm. with the inbound all the way up to the close. Um, right. but, but you've kind of identified some places that you think have been overlooked when it comes to oh, sales yeah. presentations. Mm -hmm. So tell us about those. Well, the, you know, the, the traditional, or I, I would say the lazy way of selling is to here are our slides. This is about us and why we're so great. And then go and hammer it home to the customer, honestly, to go give them a monologue about why you're so great, why your products are so great. Um, that doesn't really play very well because nobody wants to be talked at in business, in life. It's always better when there's a volley, when both people are contributing to the conversation. It's not a one-sided conversation. And I think that's the biggest mistake that, that a lot of salespeople make and a lot of sales organizations is they, they, here's all your information, now go and present. And really the information that they're presenting should help foster that relationship. At the end of the day, we're all people. We all have problems, we all have needs, we all have emotions, we are still human. And sometimes slides, especially PowerPoint, because it is a very rigid, linear um, message, sometimes that gets, that gets lost in the shuffle. Mm -hmm. So then talk to me about how to build the kind of ideal presentation um, for each of those three functions that we mentioned. So the first function being that it's um, designed to help the salesperson share the information. Um, right. How do you design a, a sales presentation that actually helps you do that effectively without being linear, rigid, a monologue? Right. Well, I would say don't, don't create a quote sales presentation. What I would say to a marketer or head of sales is um, create your structured story. What is the story for your company? Your each, you know, like each, each phase of that funnel that we just talked about, the general presentation, the needs analysis, the RFP, the inbound, the qualification, the demo, the proposal, those stages, each one of those is a chapter in the company story. So what I would recommend is take a step back, go, you know, the 20 mile high view, and create the story about your company. And that story might include, okay, the company history, the company mission, um, a chapter about your product. Each product might be its own chapter, a chapter for case studies, uh, a chapter for videos, you know, message from the CEO or, or maybe some of your advertising commercials or create the whole comprehensive story for your company where, you know, every, Every presentation is a chapter. Every slide is a scene. Every presentation is a mini story. Every slide is a scene. And you put that library together and then you make it available and readily accessible to your team. So then they can say, okay, I'm doing a, an introductory general presentation with, with Sarah Hicks today. I'm gonna pull these general slides out 
And, you know, she is interested in product number 23. So I'm going to pull a couple more slides about product 23 in, into my presentation. So they can kind of pull the slides, pull the scenes, so to speak, and then customize the deck for that meeting. Thank you.